have been part of this tournament, as some already know, and I, for one, have been in tournaments for other games. But going from a casual gameplay to knowing what you're doing to just having fun and everything, and then just got that in their mind. You're being watched. You're being judged. Are you sure you're doing it right? You know, all these things pop up. A medic oh. has been grabbed straight away. This is yep. not looking good. Did they've already started and he's already getting kind of stuck in there. Where is his team? He was 17. He's on his own. His team's on the uh, left hand side of him. We're all in this small little room here, which is quite interesting. It's not much space there. I am they're... really surprised they've left him on his own. Yeah, they've and left him. Look. They're welding it. They're welding him in. You can't get through. Oh. They've got to be quick. That medic's stuck there now. Now this is, no offense to the team, this is very good example of bad communication. Yes, You know, absolutely. if you're competing in a site like this, communication is the, the, one of the top two key points. I think they've got a bit of a muddled starter at the start. Um, I, they're going to bring it back a little bit, but I mean, look, they, they, they took a bit of a beating, and again... But no, I wouldn't say it was the most best of starts, let's just say that. Well, definitely, he's definitely going with the, the, the perks idea we were saying earlier. They're definitely going for the the two demolition. They're going for two supports, one medic and a berserker. The medic's going to be focused on this berserker. He's definitely going to be the upfront man, but how much can he handle? Yes, exactly. And not only that is, they got a double demolition. They're in a small room, which is something I would highly not advise. No, absolutely not. And yeah, all right, they can they can do it. But if anything walks in, like a stalker or a crawler, and they shoot, they're gonna damage themselves. Hmm. Just remember that they can hurt each other. But I guess I guess I, I, I don't I really don't think they're gonna stay here for long. I think the first round or two they're gonna keep in here as a means of getting money. Uh, but. I don't. I really can't see them staying in this room for much longer. But they, they're using quite a lot of grenades already. I have a feeling they will stay in the room because this is a general tactic that I see from most people these days. Uh, especially with the, the perk section, of this they can't really hold up. They can hold the warehouse to the right. That's one thing I'd say is the perfect spot for this perk layout. Oh, of course. But. Um, I don't know. With that double demolition, they're very limited on what they can do. As you can see here, though, the medic is building that door up. But the trouble is, they're wasting time now because they haven't killed him. So that time is still ticking while that Zed's still alive, and they need to go and kill him. So time's being a bit wasted here. I don't know what they're trying to do. <laughs> I don't think they actually planned out at all to what they were uh, wanting. It took them 3 minutes and 10 seconds to actually clear the wave. Probably wasted around about 20 seconds just on that last clock. Yes. Which is not highly advisable, but nonetheless. Came to Medic fighting the, the, uh, the Snizek there. Not bad choice. Maybe not good choice for an early game. Seems oh. like they will be going back to that room. Yes. Are they going to skip the trade up? Yep. Now, one other thing we must also remember about this room. They must, at later game, have a dedicated welder. Oh, absolutely. They have three, uh, two, three damage sources. Not including the demos, because obviously they're very situational. But that means one of their damage has to keep an eye on that door. So they believe... rely on one support and one berserker. Yes, I believe Nikolai is the uh, welder man it seems for this game. Um, though he hasn't got too much to weld against because the uh, clots aren't exactly going that way anymore. You might get a few odd ones but I mean it seems they're generally staying out that way. I'm coming through the main entrance. The trouble with this room I always see though is the husks can get a perfect shot at them. They're all lined up easily, so one husk round goes right in there. They're all on fire, and that's not good. They've got to keep their eyes open for that. But I the, think the medic will play big parts in this. 
Definitely. The problem is, he's got so focused so much on that Berserker. If someone else gets hit, which is the idea of you know the Siren or the Husk hitting them, which is guaranteed to happen, is he gonna forget about them maybe, or you know mislead their health and still focus on the Berserker? You know, it's gonna be it's gonna be difficult for this uh, medic, depending on how damage the team gets. Yes, they don't want to over they don't want to overtime the medic. They don't want to. You know, he's got to make sure he's got enough to shoot at him again. And if if he's gonna get hit more than he can be healed, that's not good. I would have probably had two berserkers for this part if I was gonna hold this room. But they might move, so uh, it's still on. It's still one. We don't know yet. We don't know yet. But let's go for them. I. We only can guess. <laughs> oh, oh, of course. Oh. Well, he's holding there at the moment. A good old Ralph is. Now the one thing I don't like about this slot, in general, it may be safe, but if you have one mistake, it goes to hell. Yeah. But the problem with that is, it's very slow. You're relying on the the Zeds to make their own spawns and their own decisions of when they should go in. You don't really have a choice of how fast the gameplay goes. Indeed. And if, if they take longer... Let's say they take every, you know, three, four minutes per round for the first round, but then every minute or so for the next nine rounds, that's, I wouldn't say that's the best for time. So, it'd be interesting what they do after the first four rounds, because as they say, round five, round six is the test round for their perk selection. Yeah, I think that would be the, the risk, the you know, the, the risk ping we were saying about, you know, the, yes. the point for us to decide how roughly they can play out, because I do they can handle the flesh pants really easily. Uh, double demolition, they can clear out. But as with the Scrakes, you know, we've got one stunner. Yes, alright, we have two supports, but will they go forward to take out the Scrake? But if two or three pile up at once, they can't handle that. Yeah, sorry. So, sorry. demolition would probably in general it rages them so we might see some dodging around we may get a scrake in there if that happens we're guaranteed to get a death oh absolutely so we just have to see how it plays out really yes and the, before they spend all of their money they had about four thousand eight hundred uh but interesting though a lot of them have shotguns a lot of shotguns so I don't think they're going to move their position anytime soon, if at all. I think they're going to defend this point because shotguns are only good at short, obviously short range. And this is one of the best places for the shotgun team. And everyone has shotguns practically. A few grenade, one grenade launcher. So uh, two grenade launchers. It'll be interesting to see what happens. But Ralph yeah. is see, so what he take it a beating. The interesting bits for this so far. Okay, so. Basically what happened, the supports both sold their hunting shotguns, which is the complete opposite thing I expected. The hunting shotgun in this situation is the best because you are a last resort. Now, they bought the Haze SG, which is, I'm fine with that. But that means they got fast reload, fast damage, damage per second, you know, all that sort of thing. But they do lack the, that last resort moment. So they may actually buy the hunting gun shotgun later again. The yes. biggest problem though is the actual Berserker, the one front man, has went and bought a Claymore. Yeah, that's what I've noticed. I don't know why he's done that. He's got no speed with him. He's got all the damage, but he's already got damage behind him. He doesn't need that. Yeah. He just needs the speed. It's gonna is that so far is another risk in this team at this point. If he had a katana, he's giving himself an advantage because he can handle things as long as he keeps his health up. Maybe move back on the scrake moment so the supports can jump in. You know, balance out the game flow. And if you can see here on the right hand side of the door, Niccolo just noticed it just in time that the Zeds are just bashing that door down. And it didn't have a lot left until that door had been destroyed. That wouldn't have been good for them because they've still got 130 Zeds to go. But he just noticed. Well, so far there's uh, two Gorefast and a Crawler behind that door. So we won't be seeing. 
Oh no, one girl fast decided to have a walk upstairs. <laughs> it seem we're having much uh, of a problem with the back door for the moment, so we have a, a casual flow still at the front line. And just for um, any confusion with the viewers, this team would not be competing against the previous team. They have completely different maps. Um, some other team, which is picked up random, and we will not be giving any hints of who they'll be playing against. Uh, they will be playing against another team on the same map. We can't give any hints, like I said, to who they'll be playing. So if they do play on the same map, don't assume it's the same team. They could be playing another team as well. It's all about the surprise, and we like to keep all the secrets for you, so you can always keep guessing. It's always good. Back to the game here, we uh, see Ralph. He's still doing okay with his health, but I think he's going to be using... I don't know, would you think he'd buy armor? I wouldn't buy armor if I was him, because he'll lose it straight away. And it'll yeah, be a waste I mean, of money. With the, the amount of impact that he's taking, the damage, armor's just going to be a waste of money. Especially in this situation where there's not going to be any cash flow compared to like the last hack we saw. Exactly. Where everyone had the cash because nobody needed it. This one, we had two demos, very expensive. We have two supports, very expensive once again. And that's got... four people. Not two, but four. Yes. It's they're gonna be very delayed, I think, for the uh, for their guns. Well they've got about four thousand between them well, just a bit just around four thousand pounds, maybe a bit less now, if my maths is any good. <laughs> so they might skip trader, I don't know, do you think? I don't think they will actually. Not this doesn't look like they're gonna skip it. Uh, I, I, I don't think they will. Oh, they're wasting a bit of time not killing those Zeds over there. Oh, what's he doing? Oh, and there goes the door on Berserker cleaning up. I think they'll be better off if they had someone with range to clear that. So, or at yes. least give him a headshot and then move on so they had that little extra time. It's all about the time, and I think they have they have plenty of time to get to the trader, so they, they didn't need to wait for that said, because they all would be they'll be back in position with 20 seconds spare. Right, so we do have an AA12 bought for one of the supports, and we do have an M32 grenade launcher bought for one of the uh, demolitions. It seems that we are getting to the top tier, but they're still slowly moving up. Seems, uh, oh, it would be interesting to see what happens to Ralph because he's going to be at the front line of all this and he's got to deal with practically 240 Zeds. Lots of damage been taken there. Still going at a slow pace. See lots of ammo still be uh, still unused. One demo, David. He's in almost half of his uh, M79 already. Yeah, they've got to be careful here now because some Zeds are starting to break down that door. But uh, Nikolai, I think he's going to notice and he's just going to start fixing it up. But yeah, I think the Zeds broke off from there, on the right hand side at least. Generally, I think it's going to be a steady pace for the next two rounds at least. It'd be interesting to see what happens when the Flesh Pound start in, because they're going to break through. I can't see them holding against the Flesh Pound, because they're going to be too many. Two Berserkers can easily stun and then deal one at a time, because obviously it's, it's one door, so one can probably get through at a time, which is perfect, but they only have one Berserker. So, again, and they're getting shot in the face by Husks, so it's not going to be a good combination. I think what he should do is step back a little bit, so he got himself some uh, angles, not being shot at. 
It's going to be very interesting on how they actually play this because I have a feeling the Berserker might have to move back a bit. Maybe yeah. share the, the damage load that's been taken. But we do have five, all the other five having full armor already at Wayfall. And because Ralph is the one getting all the money, I guess, because he's, you know, he's the one doing the most work, so I guess it's an interesting combination. I think that's not too bad, because the Berserker doesn't need too much money in the first place, so when he collects all the money, he can spread it out to people who need it, which is a good combination. I do wonder if uh, Ralph Berserker, if he actually is going to maybe get a second weapon. Mm. Because... If anything happens, he can at least get his primary weapon. But that means he loses his secondary. So, I'm just wondering if he's going to maybe risk it and have a secondary weapon and maybe be a, have a backup role if he needs to later. It's all really determined on what happens in this situation at that front door. I don't know if you're going to be prepared to have the money at the time. But coming down to the last three Zs, and I think they've cleared it all up now. I gotta kill him quickly, don't wanna waste too much time. We have actually got a question here. Uh, do we think they're gonna go past 60 minutes? Um, I don't wanna to judge too quickly yet. Uh, is that a steady pace? They are killing. We haven't seen any deaths or a potential death so far. And um, we are now getting into the, the, the deadlier waves. Yes. So we just have to wait and see, really. I think, I think we will see a maybe a 15 minute. Too early to say. They're, at, they're doing well. Oh, yeah. they've, they've done four waves in 15 minutes. They wasted a bit of time, but again, they're not doing too bad. They've still got on a decent time at the moment. So, I think... Yeah, it's too early to say. We'll see. In the next two rounds, I'll come up with a hypothesis, and we'll see if we're right or wrong. <laughs> yes, definitely keep coming up with some of the questions as well. That'd be a good idea. Right. We have got another AA-12 and another M32 ball. So that's two AA-12s and two M42s. Now, perfect timing. Wave 5, Scrake's going to be involved. That's the best way to, to kill the Scrakes for this team is not the Berserker. It's actually the supports with the AA-12 spamming. I think maybe the biggest question is, will the supports be able to handle their ammo total to be able to um, to withstand the later waves? Yeah, it's all about, I think, especially in their little area, they have, ammo they have an ammo box behind them, so if one of them runs out, they have some sort of backup, I guess, but if they have a continuous rate to fire of two people and then swap once they're near out of ammo, that's not too bad, however, they don't want to use all their ammo up because it'll cost them a lot of money to repair it, especially with those high tier guns. It's going to cost them quite a bit of money. So, the use of maybe four grenade launcher rounds and about two magazines of shotguns for two, with, per two people, and then that's not too bad. They've still got plenty of money left over after they spend it on the ammo, and they can share it as well. The one thing that may, we may see this later, is the, the reload time. The bots tend to have a high reload time. Obviously, HSG was the counterweight to that. Um, but if they use the AA-12, they got to spend that little bit of time to reload. But that's the same with the demolition as well. Exactly. What's going to happen when all four, or at least three of them, have to reload at the same time, and they have a panic attack from the Zed attack? I wonder how they would situation on that you know how they will change the situation for that if they can get at least five minutes per round for the next four or three waves they're going to be doing rather well for time because they never know how long the last wave can really last because this at this rate the steady pace is probably every minute or two after every round or wave Got a bit of a chat in the uh, bit of the chat. They're saying about you know to this sort of spot, it's a bit too slow. Yeah, um, for especially a game like this, I agree. 
uh, the, yes, there also is other spots where it's defendable and you can hold it and it is faster. It depends if, they want, if they're going for a safe game and just want to complete it or they're doing it because they want to go for speed. Because remember, they're playing for a time because they have no one to compete against right now. So I guess in most situations for the early early games, it's more about completing the map than actually beating the map at the best time possible. Indeed. And it is their first tournament, so it's understandable. And I think they're doing quite well for time for their first one. And as the viewer said, yep, yeah, time, I don't think they're going to get the best of times, especially in that room. But and then again, steady gameplay, safe play, it's always a good call for the first tournament, I guess. As you yeah. saw those, when you were speaking, this uh, straight came through, and uh, one at a time, as you see another one coming in, he can just easily stun him without being overrun too much. Ralph oh, on HP well. there. Oh. Now, that's exactly what I was on about, but I expected that on wave 6. If you have more than one Scrake, the damage that the second Scrake takes is nothing compared to the first. If the first one soaks up all the damage, the second one's going to be in range to get that swing in, which almost killed the Berserker there. The first one unstunned and then took a swing as well, so that was two swings within the second, second and a half. Indeed. That they had no control over. That's not good. I think the, the next round is really going to defy what's happening because there'll be more scrapes coming and then after that flesh pounds and when the flesh pounds come it's going to show the true colours of their position and they might have to relocate or we'll have to see if they even want to relocate that's the thing I don't think they will they've got a decent amount of money about four or five thousand no, about four thousand I say so I mean money isn't a problem it's just that defence health and time Alright, we're at 21 minutes right now. And we've just gone halfway, so... Not going too bad at the moment. Oh, that's a lot of ammo they're burning up there. The one thing that I did notice, the Berserker didn't go to the store, and also the Alec... Sorry, I can't pronounce his name. The, uh, the Ali person. He didn't go back either. No, the Ali. Two people without a six didn't go back. He didn't, didn't he? That's interesting. He was shooting a bit, so I don't know how much ammo he has left. He might have picked up that ammo box in the uh, room there, in. So I guess he probably got most of his ammo back, which isn't a problem. But again, that's quite risky. It's easy when you've got clots to deal with, but when this scrakes and flesh pounds come, it becomes a bit of a problem. We've got a scrake coming in now on the uh, right hand side. See how they do this. There he comes. Oh. Oh! Alright, you take the in, but you get a nice stun. <laughs> that was a bit close to the hair, I think. Close shave, oh. they say. <laughs> this is what I was on about earlier. Have you noticed the medic is focused so much on the Berserker? The rest of the team haven't been healed yet. No, that's himself. Good points. And I don't think the team noticed themselves. They're not healing themselves. Poor Ralph, he's just getting everything, isn't he? The poor bloke, he's just getting pounded. And, and again, here comes another streak coming in on the right-hand side. Now, the, the, the problem with the streak is if there's so many Zeds in the door before the streak comes in, when they fire all their guns at them, when the streak comes in, it becomes a problem. And, as you saw there, they nearly killed him again. What happens if there's two streaks? <laughs> I will admit that they are actually working on this way better than the previous one. Ah, you think so? Oh, 
Well, yeah, I mean, they haven't died yet. They got a bit close on the uh, edge here, but I mean, they're doing well with money, and the time isn't too bad, so... Yeah, for a first first go, it's very good. I think now is the time just to clean up the rest of the Zeds. There's only about 60 left, so... I don't think any more scrapes would come, but again, they might get a nasty surprise, you never know. Talk about nasty surprises, another scrape coming in on the right-hand side. That right-hand door's doing fine, hasn't been attacked at all yet. Well, submit. They seem to be playing this really safe. I'm surprised that door's not actually getting attacked. Normally, a 1Z or something will come in and sneak in. All depends if the player's next to it or close to it. Over that, all the Zs don't notice it too much. So... You seem to be making a move once again, waiting on the last set. Yeah, now losing that valuable time there. Oh, Nearly here 20 comes seconds. Sirens. Nearly, nearly half a minute that was. That's not good. As much as a player being killed. Alright, it'll be interesting what they get now. You think it's too early to say what time they might get? So we do now have a scrape spawn. Do we have to remember we now also have flesh pans that we spawn in? Oh, here comes the flesh pan already on the left hand side. Oh ho ho, they're gonna get a nasty surprise there. Oh! Pounding him to death. No one actually took any damage whatsoever. That was a lot of ammo they used. But I think they're final ammo, I guess. Seems like R Ralph is actually sticking to what we're saying about the no armor. Um, I would have expected it for this wave, just to see how their uh, their tactics play out. Oof. Especially the amount of damage he's taking right now. I think I'm going to estimate a time now for this slot. Given how then it's going, I think they can get to about 30, may maybe 40 minutes, I think is a safe, safe bet. 40, 42 minutes. Which is a very good time, especially for Frosty. It'd be a good time. I think the, the, late, the, the early game is definitely very long-winded. I think it's speeding up slightly. Uh, I think that's due to, you know, the difficulty now starting to kick in with yeah. the high levels. Uh, I'm not too sure if I can judge yet. Um, it's it's hard to actually pick. Yeah, it's always surprises that come across, and we've only just got flesh pounds in this first round, so... And not many, I must admit. But I, I see your your... Reluctant, so, uh... Hmm. Ralph almost dying there. Got a oh. Siren, Flesh Pan, and a Scrake. Yeah, it's quarter HP. It's not good. 25% left. 
But... Oh, we do seem to have be having a slap match between a Scrake and a Flesh Bound. <laughs> and the Flesh Bound says no to that. Oh, just taking it like that. I do believe they were slightly lucky in terms of taking a less damage um, due to that little bit of friendly fire on the Zeds there. Yes. Especially with the flesh pan being stuck on that corner slightly for a second. Generally though, I think they had it quite easy on this round at the moment. Yeah, Wave 7 tends to be a very easy round compared to some of the others. Uh, I think Wave 6 is actually harder in general. Yeah, I believe so too. It's like, uh, I believe Wave 8 is actually very boring compared to Wave 7 and 9. Especially 10. Not many flesh pounds, only two or three flesh pounds, about four strikes. Unlike compared to the last one, we had six or seven strikes. Byron doing a little bit of damage. Yes. But, uh, looks like he's chugging it off. Still seem to have two people with, uh, low health. Oh, no. Diamond doing quite a bit of damage there, especially to the medic. They seem to have a lot of assists throughout the team, I must admit. Well, our time's being a little bit wasted now. He should have really headshot him and then ran to get that time. Now he has to come back, go for the kill. Taking a bit of damage though. There we go. 15 seconds I counted. We're going to wave 8. We're now hitting 31 minutes. See if we get any uh, trader skip time. Who needed money? I think they've only skipped twice, haven't they? Was it once? Ooh. Not even that, really, is it? It's only a short time, which is quite interesting, especially when they're only holding out in one room and not using a load of ammo. Um, we just had one of the supports get uh, by a M79. Oh. Now this can go two ways. One, he's using it for personal use, or two, he's using it as a secondary weapon or another demo to swap round. Yes, that's what I would have presumed. I hear a flesh pan. Oh, half health straight away on now. Diamond not able to scream close enough. Damages four players there. I think some of the uh, viewers want to know what the country of this team is from. Uh, these people are from France at the moment. These are uh, this team uh, is from France, I believe. I don't think so. Not with their thing. Uh, no. I would say it's more the Italy sort of area. Ah, right. But this might have been the closest server to their location. I see. Yeah, confirm. Uh, they're from Italy. Italy, yes, Italy. Oh wow, wow. It's nice to see some um, Italian gamers. I've known a few actually, and they're very nice people. It's always good to play with Italians. It's always good to play with anyone, but yeah. you always find a lot of countries not to play with a lot of video games, and only just you know typical USA, UK, maybe France, maybe Germany. But it's always good to have 
countries that people at least expect gamers from. So it's nice. Yeah, it seems like we seem to find people from all over the world. It's very nice. It used to be very limited uh, so and so many years ago. Yes, and the team name, excuse my Italian, is Brigata Tafelugli or something like that. Um, <laughs> I won't yes. even bother trying to do that. I know I'll get it wrong. <sighs> exactly, but I gave it my best. Um, no, I must say, first time very good at the moment. And what makes a tournament good is the players, I think. The players really do make it happen. I mean, the tournament, you know, it's not because of their... They're not here just to win. They're here to have fun and to show off their prestige. And it's, you know, it's always good. It's very good. Oh, yeah. It's it's amazing when you get a team where they're doing really well. And they start... You know, they give you these little fun things that happen in the game. Like, we've had a team before. They'll get wave 10. And as they start, they start doing 360 hunting shotgun kills. And... Having a bit of fun always makes, not just for us viewers, but it makes it really nice for the players as well. It gets the pressure off their back. Indeed. Best friend in, oh, he went down to 47 oh, health. That was a close one, I think. <laughs> but round, yeah, wave eight, not, not, not too hard, I don't think. I mean, a bit harder than wave seven, but again, this, it's just the same sort of layout as wave. Seven, rather boring, as you said. <laughs> yeah, it seems like on average, I would say roughly per wave, it's costing around about four, four and a half minutes without trader time. Yes. Yes, uh, we could be looking around about the. Uh, yeah, we still could be hitting 48, 50 minutes, roughly, Ooh. with the Patriarch on top, obviously. Yes, of course. Um, we never know what happened. They can, you know, unlike the last team, they could take for a while to kill it, or they can kill it straight away. I, I don't know. I don't. It'd be very interesting to see, but we'll get to that later. Right now, the uh, waves come near to its final stages, and we've got a few scrapes and husks coming in, just trying to get those shots in. Don't know what that scrapes doing. No, he's just jumping around, listening to some good old music. <laughs> oh, here he comes. Oh! Oh wow! If that Drake would have attacked him again, he would have been in the bad position. Oh, definitely. Especially with the uh, the double pass combo in the be uh, the behind of the scene. Exactly. It, I think it might have just killed him, but lucky for him, he stunned him. Darren's trying to scream from like a mile away. I don't <laughs> think they're going to do much from there. No. Yeah, and you got two husks. And a few scrapes coming left, but uh, I think they've got this one in the bag with no loss, which is very good. Oh, it's taken a while to kill that scrape. Oh, Took a little bit of damage while the blow's getting in there. Yeah, you're ripping them to pieces. Let's have a look at this money. Look at that. Three, six, oh, that's nearly 10,000. That's 10,000 oh, wow. they've got. That's a lot of money. Be interesting what they buy for round for wave 9 or wave 10. But wave 9 is going to be a bit of a hard one. One thing I have noticed also, the the team's skills are now starting to actually be higher than the assists. We did have at one point where three players, their assists were much higher than their kills. Oh, yes. Well, it's understandable. You have one person really doing a lot of work while you've got the people behind him backing him up. And, of course, Ralph here is going to get the kills while everyone else gets the assists. I would have killed the Zed by now. I th yeah, I, th I see what they're doing. I think they're doing quite a good idea here. Just waiting for the time. It cost them a couple of seconds. It's understandable. But they, the, the trader is far away, so... Cost them around about... 20 to 35 seconds, 25 to 35 roughly. It's a bit of a cost when it comes to this late in the level. Um, I think so. But right now we have spent so far 20 seconds in the trader itself. That's roughly around about 40 seconds for two trader and back. Yep, 
So they've got, I think they, they underestimated the time there a little bit. Because they've got about 20 seconds spare. Also, someone asked, like, have they actually skipped a shop, uh, a trader time? Nope, there has been no skips at all. It's been roughly around about the 20 to 30 second skip for any of the traders. But no complete skips at all. Oh, Flesh Flesh found already. Oh, they did not expect that. Oh, well played. But they dealt with it. They didn't panic too much. But they saw a bit of panic there. <laughs> but they kept their, kept to their guns, shot it. That's actually another point. Um, I personally would say which is bad about this spot is. The traders are generally further away. Yes. If you have the one like they had in the previous round, well, they just had, that kills a lot of time. I personally would say for any future references for anyone, try and plan ahead and always have a two. Like, if you're going to hold down, try and hold down two places. If you are on the opposite side of the map, have a you know, place there that you can hold on for a wave and then go back to the other one if you can. You may. Save not much time, but you save a lot more time than holding one spot and going to like the opposite side of the map and back again. Ralph almost actually dying there, he went down to 37 health. Still no flesh pounds in sight at the moment. They have an easy going start, I believe. I must say, it's definitely speeding up in terms of uh, how long they take per wave. Oh, the is, this one did actually take a little bit longer than what I expected. They actually took around about, I'd say, six minutes for that previous wave. Another strike, but again, no flesh pounds. So, very interesting. Oh, and here comes the flesh pound, second one. Oh, oh straight in. Slaughtered. There's not enough of them. I'm rather surprised actually at this round at the moment. Not too hard. Great game with lots behind him. Oh, yes. Nice stun there. No one mm. actually using ammo. Some of our viewers are also quite surprised that this round wasn't as difficult as um, they expected, or, you know, and I thought this round would be have at least 10 flesh powers and 18 strikes, but no, quite the opposite actually. It seems like this one's had like the low 
part of the wave of the difficulty curve. Um, seems like we're getting lots of the smaller Zeds. It's slowly, casually, just of them walking in. The odd Skrig tanking up. It's probably the next wave is where it starts kicking in, around about halfway, uh, I would say. Maybe we'll even see a triple or a quadra. Um, flesh Pound Spawn. Highly doubt it. But that's one of the things we may expect. As the round ends, the wave ends, sorry. They're all in their little uh, Congo dance. <laughs> Talking some music here. Right, we have at least 15,000 pounds of wash right here. Se I'd say 17,000 actually. So let's see what they're going to buy. Another grenade launcher. Very surprised about that last round though. That was rather easy. Well, this is it. This is the last round or wave, should I say, before the Patriarch. 344 Zeds. <laughs> Let's hope this round's gonna be a bit tougher. Right. Two flesh patterns on the right. Coming in a small distance away, so they might be able to fight them one by one. Very well played there. I do believe there was some uh, pie bombs destroyed by the siren. Yes. No more flesh pounds at sight at the moment. A few streaks here and there, but I mean, not too bad. Coming to a quarter of Zeds being wiped out at the moment, but slowly getting that. One thing I would love to see in terms of stats is maybe how much damage Ralph has taken compared to the team. I can imagine it being in the, uh, the four zeros. Higher than any other person in the team. It'll be interesting how this uh, wave will go. One thing we can say though is if maybe one or two die, they definitely have the cash for it. Oh, we right. have. Two people with over five and a half k. We have one over three k. Another one with two point six k. The other yeah. two between one and two k. You know, overall they got a fair share. They can get nearly all the twenty thousand. A lot of money. To buy a car off that and get out of there. I'm not seeing your next, another flesh pan yet. I know, I'm, I'm surprised as well. Then she thought I'd have a quick nose to see if anything was lurking without me knowing. <laughs> That's what I've been doing, and uh, the coast is clear for them at the moment. I think they've had it quite easy, to be honest with you. 
But we are now hitting 58 minutes, just gone. Uh, sorry, 48 minutes, I do apologize. 130 Zeds left. Maybe another, what, six minutes on top, roughly? I think they may struggle on the pay truck depending on the tactic they used here. Yes, indeed. It's, they've got to be careful, I think, just in case any surprises come. But right now, I don't see that happening. Another flesh panel, too. That's it. I, even that, I don't know. <laughs> These waves have been rather surprising. Coming up to the last quarter of Z, 55 left out of 333. What a number. And Ralph has been at the thick of it. Are we going to find ourselves a flesh pound at the end of this round or not? It's, uh, let's hope so. They give them a bit of a surprise, come on their feet. Two scrapes going in once with a siren. Ooh. Go fast, soaking up the damage. Oh. And oh. still they didn't get a shot. Do they left? Do they actually do anything? Well, now it's the uh, defining, wa defining wave, or actually round. This really is. It's really a one v six. Yeah, they're setting down the fences here. Pipe bombs. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Snake trail. Bread trails. Is a follow it. <laughs> They're definitely using a different tactic for this. That's something they needed to try and speed up. Hmm. I'm not trying. I think they gave themselves some time here, but uh. I mean, like the, the, the 50 minute mark. Oh, I'm I'm way off my time. <laughs> I would have killed that Zed a while ago. Yeah, Slipping they them. really need to kill that Zed. The bread trails everywhere. <laughs> Mind your foot. There we go. I've just got a minute as well. It's, a, it's ridiculous. They're buying more pipe bombs as well. Oh wow! Right, there's a lot of weapons being sold here. Jeez, look at that. He's a real weapon. ALW, that's a good gun. So, yeah, they're getting rid of the M32s and the M79, they're buying lots of pipe bombs and the two laws. Not too sure if that's a good idea. Let's hope they don't kill each other by their own pipe bombs. Yeah, I think this is why they've used this room. I think they might be going to the upstairs with ah, the two demos. Yes, of course. But, if the Patriot goes from the upstairs first, they're gonna have to run. <laughs> and they got a trail of explosions behind them. Do we have a buzz saw though? I will admit that. That'll be very handy for this. Here we go. The defining chapter in this team. This round. We just hit 51 minutes. Let's see how fast they can actually kill this Patriarch. Oh, he started at the top. And oh, he's wow. Oh, they killed somebody. <laughs> they did not expect that. It's exactly what I was saying. <laughs> Any demos. Oh, they only took about a quarter off, not even that. Oh, he goes in for a ninja attack and runs again. Oh, they've already lost the player. That's not good.
Uh, actually, they do have quite a few pipe bombs, don't they? They do. This is ridiculous. Look at those. At least 20, 25 there. They've uh, the nice used part all is They are spreading it apart so the damage is not reduced. So if they the Patriot does run across, he will be damaged by all of them at almost full damage. Yes. Here Good we shots. go. Health. Oh. Oh. He's coming up the stairs. Has skipped a few. This would be their chance. Oh, there goes two two people. Already. People, we've got two left. They've got to kill the Patriot. And they hold out. Oh. Clerk's got to be careful there. He's Where's his team? the Patriot. And he has died too. It's just the Ralph the Berserker left. Oh, wow. No, I did not expect this at all. The poor... It's Ra Ralph. Ralph's the last one. The one who was at all of the thick of it. And he's gonna get killed I by him. I believe oh. this may be game. Yes, it is game. <gasps> Deary me. Uh, what an admirable try. And obviously with the new mutator, basically you get a, a wave restart. Obviously every team gets one restart. So they're they're not they're not they can actually do take two. That's going to cost them more time. I think they need to restart their strategy a little bit and work as a team here because I think they kind of abandoned each other. And they're going on the same tactic with the pipe bombs. And the law and the buzzsaw. Uh, I believe that is two buzzsaws. That yeah, is one. Two. Oh, that's one crossbow and one bustle. Ah. Well, I didn't. That, that was that was very quick. That team just got wiped out straight away. That wasn't that wasn't good. I, th I think teamwork needs to be sorted out here. Especially like the one mistake they did was as soon as the Patriot came up, they split. It exactly. wasn't just in two groups, it was pretty much in four different sections. Not good enough. Let's just hope they uh, do better and hope they kill him next time. One's got a rocket launcher. <laughs> oh, straight away, same tactic. Getting too close, having the AoE attack. Oh, he's on half HP though. Oh, he's coming down to a quarter. Oh, they really gave him a good beating there. I think they can kill him now. Can they can do it here if they can keep firing at him. There goes two t two people. Oh, we saw <laughs> three people, and there we go. Fifty-eight minutes and nineteen seconds. Do you know what? That wasn't too bad. That was actually quite well done. That was very good. Nine deaths though. Goodness me. But they, 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 they fought back, they lost the first one, and they came back again. So, hats off to them for doing that. Definitely actually learned from their mistakes and fixed that. Still took another three, pe three people to die, but... You know, they pulled it off. Definitely well played to them. They survived. At least they didn't get to that 60 minute marker. Alright gentlemen, we're going to close down quick because there's a new team coming, so we're gonna see you guys in uh, mm. 5 minutes.